To celebrate the release of Pitch Perfect 2, let's take a look at 12 things you probably didn't know about the musical comedy sequel. To get ready for the movie's opening sequence, which features her performing Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball, Rebel Wilson trained in acrobatics at LA's Cirque School with aerial stunts expert Aloysia Gavray. Although in real life Wilson's afraid of heights, she trained three times a week for five weeks so she could swing using trapeze silks and perform moves including what she calls the Death Drop Spread Eagle, in a routine somewhat inspired by Pink's performance of Glitter in the Air at the 2010 Grammy Awards. Costumes for Pitch Perfect 2, including the Bella's bodysuits for the opening sequence, feature $20,000 worth of Swarovski crystals, and the costume department employed three women full-time to crystallise costumes. Thanks to the massive worldwide success of Pitch Perfect and its soundtrack, licensing songs for the sequel was a little easier. The toughest song to secure was Muse's Uprising, which German group Das Sound Machine perform in the movie, and which took a personal written request by Elizabeth Banks to Muse frontman Matt Bellamy to lock down. After tweeting Alexis Knapp, who plays Stacy in the movie, American football player David Bakhtiari managed to score a cameo in Pitch Perfect 2 for himself and four of his teammates from the Green Bay Packers. Bakhtiari and his fellow players, Clay Matthews, Don Barkley, TJ Lang and Joss Sitton, plus Jordan Rogers, who plays in the Canadian Football League, are such huge fans of the first Pitch Perfect movie that, according to Anna Kendrick, they can do the finale back to front. About a month before filming, the stars of Pitch Perfect 2 gather for an a cappella boot camp with the movie's music and choreography team. Musical director and vocal producer Deke Sharon made sure everyone could sing every note perfectly from memory before they were allowed into the recording studio to lay down their part of each track. Whereas training for the first movie focused on nailing the basics, in Pitch Perfect 2 the Bard and Bellas have been a cappella stars for several years, so Sharon worked on extending the actors' vocal techniques and ranges and made them mimic instruments. The movie's World Championships feature cameos from a number of real-life a cappella groups. Among those appearing are Pentatonix, who hail from Texas and won US reality show The Sing-Off in 2011, and appear in the film as Canadian group Mountain Rhythm. Also making an appearance are the Philharmonic, an all-male Filipino-American a cappella group based in LA, who are called Manila Envy in the movie. Also getting a cameo is Pen Masala, a Hindi a cappella group formed at the University of Pennsylvania in the mid-90s, and who are called the non-stops in Pitch Perfect 2. Sons of Anarchy star Katie Segal, who plays the mother of Newbard and Bella, Emily, actually has an off-screen connection to the world of a cappella, as her older daughter Sarah White is in two a cappella choirs, the Owl Creek Singers and the Stirwells at Kenyon College in Ohio. Snoop Dogg wanted to be in Pitch Perfect 2 as his daughter is such a huge fan of the first movie, so the rapper makes a cameo as himself. Adam Devine's bumper and Rebel Wilson's Fat Amy may be something of an item in the movie, but in real life Devine is dating Kelly Jekyll, who plays Wilson's fellow bod and bella Jessica. The pair met when they filmed the first Pitch Perfect movie. As a student, Jekyll was part of the SoCal Vocals, a University of South California a cappella group that's won the International Championship of Collegiate a cappella, or ICCAs, multiple times. Oh, and also in real life, Jekyll and Brittany Snow, who plays Chloe, are best friends and share a home in LA. Skylar Astin plays Anna Kendrick's on-screen boyfriend Jesse, but in real life his girlfriend is Anna Camp, who plays former Bella Aubrey. The movie's a cappella world championships may take place in Denmark's capital city, Copenhagen, but they were actually filmed in Highland Park in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. A casting call was put out in the summer of 2014, and fans of the first film were invited to attend the nighttime shoot, which attracted around 3,000 people. Other Baton Rouge locations in Pitch Perfect 2 include the old Louisiana Governor's Mansion, which was used for the Dean's House, a mansion on Highland Road, which was used for the underground a cappella riff-off, and for exterior shots of Barden University, the filmmakers and cast returned to the Louisiana State University, where the original movie also filmed. Well, there you have it, 12 things you probably didn't know about Pitch Perfect 2. Now, let me know in the comments below what are your favourite moments from the Pitch Perfect movies and why, and what songs would you love to hear if they make a Pitch Perfect 3. If you enjoyed this video, do please share it, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more things you didn't know, as well as movie reviews and interviews. Thanks for watching, yippee ki movie lovers!